Hi, we at Samsung Mobile would like to show you around some of the new cool features for note taking in the Galaxy Note 10.1. The biggest difference between the Galaxy Note 10.1 and our normal tablet is this. To help you get straight to it, we activate this menu for you as soon as you take out your S Pen with app shortcuts to S Note and more. And you can even customize it to launch a specific app you like. For example, I usually take out the S Pen to take notes, so I'm going to select S Notes. Now, as soon as I take out the S Pen like this, the S Note application is going to launch. Now, this S Pen can be used to interact, annotate, and write onto the touchscreen with amazing precision. Not only that, the S Pen has some very cool functions. It's pressure sensitive, meaning that it recognizes how hard you're pressing on the screen, making lines thick or thin, like this. Here, you get a choice of eight templates to suit whatever you want to create, like this magazine one. Within S-Note, you can do more than just write and draw within the templates. You can also add different types of media to them, such as video, which I can record straight from the Note 10.1, or add one I've already got. I'm going to record a video of this little bear and create a note for my friend. Let me save it. And now I'm going to add some text to my magazine using this setting up here. The on-screen keyboard of the Note 10.1 has more than one option, which is useful as I want to see more of my creation, like right here. So if I just go ahead and pinch the keyboard like so, and select the floating keyboard option right here, and I can use it as an alternate keyboard, press down on it and move it to any location that I want. Now I can clearly add text to the template, so I'm going to type cute, huh, with a question mark. Also, I think I want to change this up a little bit and make it a little more friendly, so I'm going to add some shapes, like from here. And I'm going to select from this array of shapes, and let me select a heart, like that one. And I'm going to move it here. Um, and I want to add some color to this, so I'll go into settings and select pink for the line, and I'll fill it in with the red. There we go. Now, I'm going to edit this a little later, so let me go ahead and save it as a magazine. Select OK, and I'm going to close the magazine. And we can see that it's been saved right here, so let's check. You can see the little additions and the heart I added here, and I can even play the video within the template, like this. I'm going to create a new note by selecting the idea note template, and I'll show you the sketch record feature right here that's going to allow me to record a sketch in real time, which is great for showing off intricate creations. Here, I'll just zoom in a little to show you what I'm doing just a little better. And I want to change the background so what I'm writing looks a lot nicer. Okay, and I'm going to change the pen settings to make sure the pen color fits the background. I'm not a great artist, but I want to send a quick message to my boss. And the record sketch function is going to record everything I write, so let's start. Now I'll write notes, uh, the new, and way. Now it's my boss's birthday today, so I'm going to draw her a happy face, like this. And I'll make sure that she understands it's for her by writing boss. Now I'll stop recording, and let's play it back. See the note that I just wrote is being played back, just the way I wrote it. Here, I created a folder called My Notes. And you can quickly preview the first page of each note. I can even customize notebook covers as I've already done for these right here. And this is really cool because I can visually categorize them to sort them out easier. Now, uh, let me change the notebook cover for this one right here by selecting Edit Cover. And now with this, I can select from an array of notebook covers. Uh, let me choose this one. 
and the cover has been changed. Now, these two notebooks have the same cover, which I can use to categorize them as education-related notes, as these are economics and engineering ones. Now, the thumbnails of these notes are very good for getting a quick overview of what notes I have, but there are times when I want more detailed information, so I'll switch to list view. Now I can see more detail about the notes and preview them. For notes with one page, I can see the first page of each notebook. And for notes with multiple pages, I can see the first four pages, like here. Now let's open up this note. There are 21 pages in this notebook, and by using the preview feature, I can easily preview the pages and quickly jump to the page I want to go to, like this. Now let me quickly close this notebook. The Galaxy Note 10.1 provides intuitive ways to manage notes. I'll show you how easy it is to move notes between folders. Now I'll enter move mode like this. I'm going to select this note and this note and drag it and drop it over to the education folder all at once. And those are some of the great note taking features you can expect to find in the Galaxy Note 10.1. If you'd like to see some other features, watch more videos that explain the exciting capabilities of the Galaxy Note 10.1.